All right. So for the next talk up here, we have Nicole Schwartz. Uh, and this, this topic is just fascinating. I mean, and this is something that's been talked about or that I've contemplated, you know, well, should I specialize or should I be a jack of all trades? Because being a jack of all trades is definitely a lot more fun than being a specialist, at least in my opinion. But Nicole's going to give us an update of what's going on there. And so without further ado, Nicole. All right. So this is the shit I've done, DBA, sysadmin, help desk, tea, blender, florist, lots of shit, and it's all random. But I actually feel like this has made me a better IT person. And so I kind of want everyone to think about where you want to be with your career and how maybe having a broad spectrum of things or an expertise in certain things is going to play into that. Or bend toward you. All right, so here is my version of the history of IT. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. So you had single-use computer systems, mostly for military, and they did one thing. And if you needed tech support, you went to the guy who made them. There wasn't a tech department, per se. And there really wasn't training. So then you get to the business computer system. All right, people with a lot of money have giant computer systems, there's some customization, and there's still a lot of specialization. You have an IT person, but they're gonna have a really broad spectrum of responsibilities, and they've gotta do a little bit of this, and a little bit of this, and some magic pixie dust, and everyone's like, all right, the guy in the corner makes shit work. There's some training, mostly provided by vendors, um, and, you know, that's about it. Now you get to the early PC, period. At this point, there's tons of training available. You've got comp sci degrees. Lots of people, if they have money, have computers, or if you scrounge up parts and build them yourself, and you've got hobbyists entering in. At this point, companies and the military are gonna have IT departments. Some specialists in there and a whole bunch of generalists. And now, it's all fucking magic pixie dust shit. Everybody's got a computer somewhere. Half the people don't know how they work. There's tons of specialists. There's tons of generalists. It's craziness. We kind of did all of this in an 80 to 90 year period, so we may have started to run before we actually got the hang of walking. And so, are we really in the right place? So, I think it's kind of a scale. At the one end, you have the true jack of all trades squirrel, great at trivia games, but you really can't dig past the surface level with them. On the other end, you have the person who their entire life is this one particular thing and they are going to tell you about their D&D &D character until you literally run away and they can't talk about anything other than that. So you really don't want to be at either end of the spectrum. You probably either want to be an expert or you want to be a jack of all trades and they're a little bit closer in. Um, and so I'm going to tell you a little bit about both of those because you're probably like, of course I want to be an expert. Expert sounds amazing. Sign me the fuck up, right? Okay, well, maybe, but there are some benefits to having diversity. So why are we going to bother? Well, I can assess risk really well. If I'm a specialist, I may only know the documented data classifications for the systems because my job is to assess risk for a company and I know all the formulas and everything, but I don't know that, hey, the dudes in the call center put people's PII in the notes field. Fuck! My risk just changed, didn't it? But if I chit-chat with the people in the call center occasionally, I've learned that. All right, what about triaging events? Well, if you're a specialist, you're going to know all of the systems that are documented and exactly how they're supposed to work. And you know this system gets used every single day, and this system gets used only once a month at the end of the month. And you're like, well, obviously I'm going to fix that daily use system first. Well, what if I didn't realize that that monthly system actually has a financial penalty if my company doesn't do that shit on time. Well, fuck, that should get fixed first. And if I never talked to those guys over there that use the system, how did I know that? All right, troubleshooting. Everyone's heard, but it works on my machine, right? So if you're a specialist and you're like, I can write all of the code and all of the stuff on the database and I will make it work and it works in the lower environments and it works on my system, raw, why isn't it working? Well, maybe if you're a little bit more of a generalist and you've learned a little bit about the firewall stuff and you heard the firewall guys saying, oh, we were going to do some changes last weekend. Huh. Maybe you should talk to them. Maybe they can help you find that problem because there was an update and maybe your stuff got lost. Who knows? And last one is blind spots. Well, if you are a specialist, you know what you need to know. It's documented. 
if you're a jack of all trades and you're chit-chatting with everybody, well, you're going to know what smells funny around here. And no, it's not your programmers. You're going to be able to tell, well, there used to be this system, and these people were responsible for it, and they kind of all left the company. Who's in charge? Does that mean that there's this system nobody's maintaining that's hanging out in my network? Should I be worried about that? So chit-chatting, knowing a little bit about everything comes in handy. All right, so what do other fields do to solve this problem? You've got doctors. I'm going to be a pulmonologist. I'm still going to do an OBGYN and a podiatry and a family medicine rotation. I just need to know a little bit about it so I know when you come to me and you're like, oh, and I got this thing. It's like, oh, go talk to this guy. That's all I need to know, not a lot of depth, just the key terms. Or me, when I got an MBA, I took law, accounting, blah, 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 lots of crap. And then I specialized in project management. So I know enough terms to be dangerous and Google around a little and hopefully talk to all the business departments and manage them in not a dickish way. Hopefully. That's what everybody wants, right? No pointy hair going on here? So what about us? Some companies kind of have some stuff going on. Some universities have some stuff going on. But we haven't really, as a group, unified around what do we want people to know. And that's kind of not great. And I think that's just because we grew really fast, and there's a ton of new tech, and it is amazing. But we haven't really stopped back to think about what do we want business people to know about all this new technology. It's not just about us. What do we want the business people to know about our tech? What do we want the tech people to know about our tech? What do we want the security people to know about the business and the tech? Just at a high level, so that everybody can actually be on the same page, communicate, and try and solve the problems. You're not there to sit at your desk eight hours a day. You're there to solve problems and make money for your employer. If you don't do that, your company may go out of business and you stop getting a paycheck, right? Yeah, problems. So kind of know what's going on. So we keep saying, or at least a lot of us say, security is everyone's job. If we aren't teaching them anything about security, how are they supposed to smell that funniness? Like, oh, this email looks totally legit. I'm going to click all this stuff because it wants me to re-secure my Outlook. They're going to do it. They're not going to call you and be like, are we re-securing our Outlook? They don't need to know about stuff. They just need to let you know. And we aren't training everyone to do this. All right, so how do you get it since it's not unified yet? Well, do it yourself. We're hackers. We got this, right? Socialize inside your department. Socialize inside your company. Go have coffee with the marketing guys. Go see if the sales guys have any nice donuts showing up in the morning. They might feed you. Um, show up to events like this. Talk to people in tangential industries. Do you guys use some containers that aren't Docker? Maybe there's a Docker conference coming, and it's like 10 bucks, and they'll give you pizza to show up. Just learn a little bit about everything. Also, there's blogs, wikis, Twitter, books. There's free online classes, paid online classes, all sorts of stuff. Just figure out, what do I not know? Let me read a little bit about it. All right, do I have the key terms? Let me chit-chat with this person on Twitter. OK, I seem to at least have a basic idea. If shit hits the fan, I've got a lifeline now, right? All right, so where do you want to be? Because remember, it's a spectrum. You could be anywhere on it. And the important thing is you. Where do you want your career to be going? If you're going to be a jack of all trades, you might be really excellent as a consultant because you can do a little bit of everything and patch some company together, or maybe a smaller company. You also need to be good at selling yourself. And it's a little bit harder to sell yourself if you're a generalist. But come up with some examples. Like, I can make stuff happen. And here are some examples of it. So a risk here is you may fit into a small company really well, but as that company grows, you may have to specialize or leave for another small company. All right, maybe expert still sounds wonderful and you still want to be over there. Don't only read about your field. Yes, you have to keep up with your field. What stuff is tangential to your field? Why don't you keep up with that? Find out what your business is doing because maybe they're coming up with a second product. What if your product's about to go the way of the dinosaur. Well, except for that dinosaur. And <laughs> you might then be out of a job, and it's going to be harder and harder for you. You're probably going to fit into a large company, or the government, or potentially fit in at a consultancy who specializes in one particular thing. 
Like if SharePoint's your thing, there's whole companies around making SharePoint for stuff. So. All right, so senior people who are not the junior people, improve what is it you want as a core for your business people, for your IT people, for your security people. What is it they should know about your company? What is it they should know about your business? What is it they should know about your departments? Make it easier for everyone to do their job and communicate and not have us versus them. Because then you can't troubleshoot. Because you're not going to ever talk to the network guys and you're not going to know they're doing some kind of maintenance. And why the fuck is everything down? Well, because the firewalls are down. Also, you <coughs> need to think about getting more interesting people in. If we all go through the same colleges and the same degree programs, yeah, we want to have a base. But get diversity of, hey, this person switched careers, and they actually started out in sales. They might actually be really great for working with our salespeople. Or this person started in communications. Maybe they can improve our documentation so the developers don't keep looking at us. Like, you want me to do the what with the what, these directions? Uh, are there pictures? Get some people who are good at these things. Bring them in. All right, so if you're a junior, you're not going to start out right away. You're going to start out wherever you get a job, unless you're really lucky. If you're really lucky, go you. I definitely didn't, as you saw from the list of jobs. So you're in your position. Look around your company. Is the company where you want to stay? Is it a different department or a different role within that company you want to get to? Figure out the path to get there. It may be kind of wiggly and up and down and sideways. That's OK. All right, who do I need to talk to? What do I need to learn to get there? Maybe your long-term goal is a different company. People don't stay a very long time, usually, with companies anymore. So figure out what size company is it you want to be in. Do you like the feel of a small company? Or would you rather be in a big company where everybody does have a smaller slice of stuff? And work yourself into their socialized network inside your company, outside your company, read stuff, Twitter, other social media that will probably replace it at some point. All right, that's it. And somebody above yeah. that. All right, if you could sit in the, yep. in the chair <laughs> to be judged. Uh, okay, so good presentation of ideas, great organization, good talk, uh, enjoyed it a lot. Uh, a couple of points that I would add. Um, it, when, if you decide to be specialized, uh, one thing to worry about, as you mentioned getting pig pigeonholed, but the tech may pass you by and you would then be out of a job. So if you decide to be specialized and you work towards that, make sure that you have a way to move at least laterally if that sort of thing happens. Uh, for example, if you were a COBOL programmer, yeah, you, you know. There are still jobs for COBOL programmers out there. Yeah, there is a demand now, again. Once 2038, again, bud. You know, the the, the, the uh, epoch problem. I don't know. We, we don't have a catchy acronym for the epoch problem yet, do we? Y338? That doesn't really matter. Uh, the other thing, uh, for juniors, uh, be open-minded. Uh, and if you want to work to being specialized, that's great. But have a plan, even if you don't end up following that plan. Give yourself some idea of what you're going to do. But yes, good talk. Thank you. They keep taking my mic away. I wonder if they're telling me something. We can all just we can kill them like this. Better? This one's like really weird. I got it. I'm just, like, I'm just here to break a mic. Anyway, great talk from Outfit Points. I'm giving you a solid no scotch, no bubbles. Um, from the topic, though. I'm giving you one bubble. It's a good topic. It's okay. But from the excitement, you get absolutely 1,200 scotches. That's a very important one. You got so excited that I actually have a challenge point for you. For 50 million bubbles, if you make a song about you're writing all the code song that you got all excited about, I think you could really spin that off. I mean, we could, we could work something out about that one. Uh, business communication, communication in general, talking to the, the business. I feel this is almost a little bit of played, played out, but it's important to talk about because it's like talking about firewall rules. Why are we still talking about it if we're all so freaking smart? Because none of us are still doing shit right. So you get one Corbell pretend champagne for that. 
Um, and that's just me being jaded in general just about the industry. So I'm just channeling my inner Jack Daniel on that one, I think. Curmungeny. <laughs> we did miss Jack. Um, is today's birthday? Is today's birthday? Yeah. Happy yeah, birthday, Jack. Happy birthday, birthday, Jack. Big round of applause for Jack, because we know he's watching the stream, because that's we, exactly what he does. We love you. We miss yeah, you. Yeah, please out of Tiki Bar. But your takeaway wrap I thought was fantastic, so therefore I gave you scotch with Ron Swanson for that. I'm refining my process of, this is my first time judging, so I am refining my metrics as we're going along, so it's good. <laughs> I will recap later. So Agile all in all, iteration, I love it. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you know, we're, we're all on a very constant and very professional scale of rubric here. So, um, you get a plus one, or sorry, a plus ten for your hair. It's awesome. I freaking love it. I mean, it's, I was studying it as I was, I was trying to look at your slides and your hair. Um, plus one thousand on the harsh good reality check about that business balance with security, right? You know. We love saying like, well, you can't do that. And it's like, actually they can. And it's the reason probably why you have a paycheck, right? So there is that business reality, but it's kind of our jobs to hang in the balance of that. So good, good one on that. Um, plus 100 on the scale of organization, um, helping that trade off in your career between looking at smaller organizations and a large opportunity to do a whole lot of things. Um, certainly the day I joined Microsoft, I almost ran out the door and then I realized, wait a minute, the large organizations is where you might be able to have leverage and make a bigger difference, or as you said, um, be able to hone in on certain areas of expertise because you've got that organizational room to hone in. So I thought that was, you know, that was a good way to present that to folks in the audience. Um, minus five, why you know meme, why you know meme. Uh, minus 50, why you know bribe, why you know bribe. Learn this for next year, people. I don't even know if I'm going to be a judge, but... Oh, there we go. Was this a bribe delivered on your behalf? I accept this for rectal use only stickers. I accept these. Uh, yes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put one on the skull shot glass and Why things are, are going to get weird color? later, all right? Um, Wait a minute. I got the vaginal ones. What's up yes, with that? Yes, you did. And so... It's to make friends. Okay, so I, I retract my minus 50 why you know bribe, okay? That's, that's now scratched out because this is fantastic. Um, and then, you know, I love plus 20 on the career stage takeaways. You know, if you're junior in your career, think about this. If you're more senior, I don't, I don't know where I am in my career exactly. So I felt like I learned things from both of those ends of the spectrum, and I appreciate that. So thank you very much. That was great. Any comments or feedback there? Or any, any, you have two minutes to respond. Yeah, no, no. Okay. All right, enough.